Okay guys, welcome back to the Let's Play world. Lamanida here, and what are we doing today? That is a great question. But first of all, I just want to say, how have you guys been enjoying the series? Like, we are nearing Terrio. We are nearing 30 episodes. Almost there. And I've had a blast all the way through. All the way through. And I think that we've done a lot in this world. It's probably the most... Well, not the most, but quite a bit on the ways of the most I've ever done on a single-player world. And, uh, that's saying quite a lot. Saying quite a lot. But, um, yeah. Just want to see what you guys think about the series, and yeah. Yeah. So, as some of you might remember, we are at the location of the skeleton spawner, and the Yggdrasil is way over that way. At my render distance, just a second, let me check this on far. Yet, for some reason, it doesn't look like far, it looks like normal or something. Anyway, we're right here, I didn't want to explore any further, but basically what we have here... I've set up this kind of base area, base camp, and I've been doing a lot of work on this spawner. And that has been... There we go, let's put that there. That has been because, as you guys can see, I have created a working skeleton spawner. So I covered it up, and if we go right over here, actually, you can see the 1.7 chunks have loaded over there. If we drop down right here, then we need to watch out for this area. But if you come right over here, you can see they drop down, come around, and then I believe if we come down here to the viewing area, and I still need to work a few things out right here. Oh, geez. Okay. Don't kill me. Ow. No. Okay. Yee. Yeah. Yee. Yeah. Yeah, nothing, nothing wrong with this at all. Oh, jeez. Lag spike. No, I can't become a member of lag. Okay, I have to clear this up. It's lagging for me for some reason, and it can't happen. That can't happen when I'm working on this. First off, let's take... Where did that go? Right there. You. There. Hmm, I'm not sure. How do I want to do this? Anyway, let's head back up. I will try and keep showing this. For some reason, it's lagging. I... Oh, jeez. Hello. I set my frame rate from, um... To record from 120. And then I set it to record at 60. And I don't know if that's having a hard time on my computer or if it's just not doing it right. I'm not really sure. I'm going to switch back to 120 here in a second. Uh, if, yeah, these, this is actually pretty bad, so let me switch back to 120, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Hopefully that fixes the prom. Uh, again, the 120 doesn't work, as you can see if I press F3 here, we're not recording at 120, we're just, it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Anyway, down here, as you just saw, uh, I have that worked out, and I'm trying to get it worked out to where they can just fall and I can go down there and punch them once, but, again, something I need to work on. And another cool thing is you, you can already see over there, there's another spawner, but I was coming around here and just exploring the area, because as you can see, the 1.7 chunks have loaded over there, and I was coming down here to see what there was to mine, because I needed iron and stuff for this project, and I came through here and was exploring it up, and actually over here, no, over here, possibly, um, is it? Anyway, I'll show you that later if I can ever find it. Over here, we have a dungeon, a zombie dungeon, untouched. I haven't shown anybody anything, the loot from inside these chests right here, I've been saving it. And, ooh, chicken just dropped an egg for me, thank you for that. And I believe that there's another cave right over here. You can hear those mobs. But I want to create a double spawner. 
so I want to link up the skeleton spawner and this spawner so that I can get both rotten flesh so I can have both a zombie spawner skeleton spawner right in the same area and that's basically what this is going to be I am going to make it look nice connect it make it work and yeah but first thing I think we need to do is take a look inside these chests so we'll do this one first ooh very nice some iron two name tags that's amazing music redstone and string and eh, not that great here just a second before we go into this one I want to check something real quick okay guys we're back and I just need to check something I was wondering if the sound was syncing up with the video with all the lag that was happening. It is. We're good. So now on to the second one. Some bread. Very cool. Another music disc. Golden apple. And a few buckets. Cool stuff. So now, as always, gotta get the... Gotta get the mossy cobble. <clears throat> from under here. And I actually think I'll just cut while I do that, because... Oh... Ow. Did not mean to do that. And I don't have torches. Brilliant. Uh, hmm. Got a lot of iron. Might as well mine that up while we're here. Might as well. Yeah, there was some there. Okay. Sweet deal. Let's get that really quick. Very nice. How much is that? Eight. Good. And did I just see a tad? Nope. Cave of much iron, though. There we go. And I'll get the rest of this right here. Line that up. And where was the rest of the iron? Right over here. Do I see the zombie? Nope. I just hear the zombie. Brilliant. Okay, there we are. Let's come up. Come back up here. Okay. Cool stuff. Yeah, so... Wait, how much? 12 iron. Very nice. So, let me deposit this stuff. I will mine up all the mossy cobble down there, and I will get right back to work and in making that a working dungeon. And once that's done, I think all we need to do is connect the two paths... And, uh, that's just a matter of digging out, and, uh, yeah. I don't really think that we need to worry about looks this episode, just, uh, working. Just make sure it's working. Um, but here, let's store everything. In fact, might as well make it a double chest. Might as well. And let's put everything iron and that related in there. So, if we have any... We do, we have some iron there. As you can tell, I got some glass, so I'll probably be using that. Okay, and actually, anything rich related, we might as well put in there, as well as the mossy. And we've got all that. Okay, let's do some of that. Oh, it's already filled up. Cool stuff. Buckets, string, and flint and steel. Cool. And then I think I'll just be needing this stone and this glass. And uh, let's take the buckets as well. And let's see, what else can I use? I got a jungle sapling. One thing to note. There we are. Okay, let's head back down here. And uh, it, it's a very cool area. I really like this area right here of jungle. Because there's quite a lot of exploration that we can do. Just as far as, um, splunking. Like, look at this cave. This cave. I mean, it's a little bit. It's just so cool. I feel like Indiana Jones. Look at this. It's awesome. Drops down. Into this. Oh my gosh, guys. We have to build here. That is the... That is awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, so I am going to start on the construction of the actual dungeon, and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay. Where? 
Where is it? Let me find myself. There we are. Okay, be right back, guys. Okay, guys, so the final product is done, I am happy to say. And before we do anything else, let me harvest this sugar cane here. Plant, 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 plant. Because I intend to turn this into a... Look here, let's snag that from there. Put that right there. I intend to turn this into an XP farm later on. But, uh, for now, it should be okay. Okay, so, let us put all this stuff up. <laughs> and we are running a little low on food. Should be okay for now, but... Let me show you what I have been doing. Meanwhile, I cleared that tree that was here. It yielded nothing. So, if we drop down here, I'm not going to connect the paths this episode. Just because, um... I haven't gotten a Let's Play episode out in a while, and my schedule has been really weird. Um, I haven't been able to record much. I haven't been in the mood to record much, which is really weird. I usually love to record, and I don't know, it's just not been going on lately. So, anyway, as you guys saw before, nothing has really changed with the skeleton spawner. Just the same generic setup. Um, I will need to be fooling around with this some off-camera to make it so that I can just go down and punch them. With the skeletons, I have that going, but as you guys saw before when I fell in, um, there's no, there's no protection. There's no protection where I can, uh, punch them safely. But that's that, and through that pathway, we come along here, and I dug out the zombie spawner, there was a cave underneath, so I did work with that, and uh, it's better now, working fine. I was having a problem with light coming through, because I had torches right here, I had a cobblestone block instead of this glass, and then the, um, the torch right there, like that, but it was shining into here, so the zombies wouldn't spawn, so I put this torch under glass, this torch was fine, and I put this torch behind glass so that no zombies can spawn out here. Uh, let's check that really quick. Um, where's block lighting? Block light. Oh, seven. Okay, so mobs can spawn right here, but that's okay. They haven't yet, and if they do, honestly, I mean, I'm pretty okay. I think I got this. Is that Sharmin's three? No, just okay. And also, we need to repair this bow soon, because that's a good bow and I don't want it to go to waste. Anyway, so you've all seen the skeleton thing before, but I will show you what I did with the zombie spawner. The zombie spawner. Oh jeez! Ho-ha! There we go. And if we come over here and press F3, as you can see, there are 21 entities right there. And it would probably be a lot easier... Sorry for the, uh, sounds of dying zombies, I don't know if you can hear me over that or not. Anyway. Yeah, so they fall down here, I need to fix that where baby zombies... Well, there's no way I can fix that, I don't believe. Um, but I need to make a 23 block drop from up there to down where... Ow, ever. Now let's get out of here, it's not a good place to record. So that I can just hit them once without using up the durability on my sword. Despite the fact that we have a ton of diamonds, I still don't want to use them. I, I don't want to waste them, basically. Um, when it's just a grinder. And I primarily want to use that for rotten flesh in case we ever get dogs. <laughs> I really need to explore for them. I don't know if 1.6 has them or not. I mean 1.7 has them or not. Um, I've been looking through this forest a tad bit, just on my own, and it doesn't look like there are any dogs anywhere, which is really not cool. I really, really like dogs in Minecraft, and I don't know, it just feels like they've been taken out of the... They've been taken out, because I can't find them anywhere, which is really, really derpy. Not really that cool at all. Anyway... So as you guys can see, everything's right in here. I think I'll be transporting all this stuff back. Uh, I'll gather up some cocoa beans so that I can start on a cocoa farm back at my own home in case I want cookies, which is certainly something that I think would be awesome to do next episode as kind of a silly episode. We could do that. 
Um, as I said before, I want to go on a hunt for dogs, but as for the dungeon, I know that this was a little bit of a short episode, I'm not really sure. I've kind of been recording non-stop, I haven't checked to look at the footage. Man, there are eggs all over the place here. But, um, I haven't really looked at the footage, but I am sure it's nearing time for me to end here. So, uh, I have one jungle sapling, and I plan to clear this area. Dang, you guys are... You know what, I'm not even going to waste the durability. Not even gonna. But this place looks like a remarkable place to build. Uh, just the jungle trees in general, I would love to build here. As you guys saw that cave earlier, you guys probably can't see much, because for one, it's night. For two, um, there are vines everywhere. Oh, this one, I believe. Uh, no, not this one. Anyway, there are a lot of cool caves here, and I think that this would be an amazing place to build. Uh, I'll probably do an episode where I clear out some of this jungle here. Can't have none of that going on. Or I clear out some of this jungle, and um, I can probably get some jungle saplings. Because from what I've seen, if nothing else, the two things that don't spawn in 1.7 are dogs and jungles. And I like jungle wood. Not enough people use it in my opinion, and when they do use it, they use it to make it look bad. They don't use it in the right way, I think. And it looks- it ends up looking not that great. Hello, spider. Dang, you never even touched the ground. I got too much skill for you, spider. Anyway, I've already gathered up eight jungle wood, and I have a jungle sapling. Uh, but yeah, until further notice, I don't think we're gonna be finding any jungles, which is really disappointing, but even so, there's a ton of trees here. As you guys can see, if I just kind of go around here for the end of the episode, just to make it a little bit longer for you guys. Because, as I said, I've not been recording much. Ooh, this is cool. It's a big tree that goes... It's not really that big. Pfft, never mind. It's a 2x2 two two tree that doesn't really do anything. It's just kind of derping out. Anyway, yeah, there's quite a lot of jungle here. I don't want to deforest, but at the same time, I don't want to go without having jungle saplings. Um, one thing to note, Mojang, if you're going to take out jungles, at least make jungle saplings drop more. I mean, come on, they're jungles. You gotta, you gotta let us rebuild. It, it's not cool, not cool. Anyway, guys, um, I think I'm gonna be wrapping up the episode here in just a second. Uh, I do hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, a like and rating is always appreciated. And if you have any ideas, good or bad, I would love to hear them in the comment section below. Uh, I think I'll start moving all this stuff back to my base in preparation of next episode, which I still have to decide what that is. But, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this was entertaining for you. And if it was, I usually do these videos if you're new to the channel, so make sure to subscribe. <clears throat> but yeah, guys, until next time, I think that'll do it. And it is with a great and heavy heart we have completed these new dungeons. I'm really happy about the progress. And yeah, I am happy to say, Lama 90, out. <laughs>